Now, if you haven't been living under a rock, you might have noticed that COVID-19 happened. I mean, the news was pretty much only talking about that for the last two months. While most of the measures have been lifted in Austria, unis were still closed for the summer semester, which just ended last Friday. And large gatherings of people are still forbidden, which in turn means that the entrance exam, TBBE, and other programs at VU will be held online. The thing is, I had the entrance exam in person, so full disclosure, I can't give you a first-hand account like in my last video about the structure of the entrance exam, which you can watch right here, by the way. Just what I've heard from other applicants, as well as my own experience with online finals at VU. So that is what I'm going to talk about in this video, which is the last part in my mini-series about the BBE entrance exam. Before getting started, I want to say this though. I know most people are watching my channel solely for the information about the entrance exam, and that's okay since I made these videos to help future students. Still, I'd ask those of you who like my videos not just for the informational content, but also the quality and uh, maybe me to stick around for my upcoming videos, which will go more into the entrepreneurial side of this channel. I want to challenge myself to a number of self experiments to prove to myself and uh, my parents that it's possible to also make a decent living from self-employment. Of course, these experiments can go both ways, so you either end up motivated after them, or if they turn out to be a train wreck, at least uh, entertain. And I think those are both pretty decent selling propositions. For those of you that like my video, Waste of Time, there'll also be more of that type of content in the future, since summer break just started, which means I have more time for these more elaborate type of videos. Finally, if you're just here for the student content, I can assure you that there will also be plenty of that in the future. I have upcoming videos about the best deals for students in Vienna and much more. I'm rambling, so let's get into the actual video. This year's entrance exam will be held online. Since I already talked about the content in my last video, which you can watch here, I won't cover it again here. Rather, I'll talk about how the entrance exam will be held and its structure. The exam environment will be the Flow browser, which to be honest, I've never heard of before and have never used when taking exams, but they probably need a dedicated browser to ensure fair conditions and to be able to handle the scale of so many students taking the exam at the same time. Before the exam actually starts, you'll be taken to something like a waiting room, where you have to upload an identity confirmation picture as well as give them access to your camera and your screen. The supervision works the following way. Every four to six minutes, they'll take a picture to make sure it's actually you who's taking the exam. This means it will probably not be too hard to cheat from a supervision standpoint, but I would not recommend doing that anyways, not just for ethical reasons, but also because you probably won't have enough time for that anyways. Finally, you have to sit on an empty desk to ensure that you're not cheating and the only thing really allowed on your desk is your laptop. So let's move on to structure. The exam consists of three parts, English, business, and mathematics. The exam is multiple choice. So for each question, there are five possible answers with at least one of them being true. That means you can tick up to five correct answers for each question. Another important note is that no physical calculators are allowed at the entrance exam. There will only be a digital calculator you have access to and it will be a very simple calculator, so nothing with which you could derive functions or graph them. Finally, you'll also be able to see how much time you have left, as well as when you have to submit the exam, on the top right of your screen. Now, I know this was a very short video, but this was all the information I could find based on my own experience as well as talking to other applicants. Talking of other applicants, if you want to join our Instagram group, and I know this has become a bit of a meme lately, uh, you can. Just shoot me a message on Instagram and I'll add you. There are a bunch of people in it already and it's a great way to get to know your future colleagues as well as ask questions about the exam. So I know this has been a super short video, but I hope I could clear up a few things. Now, if I got you curious about my other content in the beginning of the video, I would ask you to please consider subscribing to my channel. It really helps me out a lot. And with that, I wish you all the best for the entrance exam and hope to see you all in my next video and maybe even on campus.